Well, that's not too bad. Ready for the next session. So I'm going to try and do a, a little bit different on this video. One or two of you have asked me what you can do to improve your cue action, uh, even though you haven't got access to a snooker table. Well, let me just say, I'm not fortunate enough either to afford a house big enough to put a snooker table in. But that doesn't mean I can't practice my cueing. And certainly in my early days, what I used to do is get the ironing board out, set it up as a, a similar height to a snooker table, which is, if my memory serves me correct, is two foot nine and a half to two foot ten and a half. I think that equates to 851 millimetres to 876 millimetres. So I set the ironing board up to that height. I get my cue and all I simply do is practice my cueing. Now there are many things that you can do to assist that. Again in my early days if you came to my house for a cup of tea you'd probably get a cup without a handle. Why? Because in the process of learning to cue I would be cueing through that handle and invariably I would miss and eventually knock the handle off the cup. Well, I progressed a little bit, all right? And now I can go through that handle, yeah, and cue along it without fear of hitting it or knocking it off. A colleague of mine, a friend and colleague of mine, he took that a stage further. And he got one of these little blue, mar blue markers, ball markers, and he drilled a series of holes in. For the beginner, the hole was quite large, and he'd get them to cue through that hole. And as they progressed, that hole would get progressively smaller. Now, it doesn't have to be a cup. It doesn't have to be a ball marker. It can be the outside cover of a matchbox or a bottle turned over that way so you're queuing through the neck of the bottle. You can even get a spare cover from the for the ironing board and draw a line on it. My wife certainly wouldn't let me draw a line down the original cover so I'd get a spare one. And then that line would replicate the bolt line where I could examine my queuing. On this particular ironing board I've got this metal bar I can cue at the metal bar, right, play an imaginary shot and ask myself, is the cue still pointing at that bar? My wife or my daughter would put me on video. Now the points that I'm really interested in with that video is how far my hand is away from the chest, where do I hold the cue, how do I hold the cue? I would want a view from the back, from the side, and from the front. All these give you valuable information. Now obviously it doesn't have to be an ironing board, it can be the dining room table, the kitchen work surface, anything that is a similar height. But one thing I do know is if I have a, a week holiday or something like that, if I have picked a queue up, yeah, when I get to that snooker table to play properly, this cue no longer feels like uh, a broom mantle in my hand. It still feels like a cue. And I don't have so much rush, shall we say, to knock off. I just get down and I feel comfortable straight away. I'm grooving these muscles. The muscle action is everything. I've got to groove those muscles so that I'm cueing in the same manner all the time. All right, have a go at it. Come up, use your imagination. Come up with ideas of your own. Good luck with that practice.